Here, we're looking at white oak. It's in the family Phagaceae, the genus Quercus, and the specific epithet is Alba. So the species name is Quercus Alba. And let me show you some identifying characteristics of white oak. The first obvious identifying characteristic of white oak is the sign. This is the best way to identify any species is if somebody already identified it correctly and put a sign. The bark of white oak will have almost plates and they uh, plates that run vertically with thin or narrow fissures that run through. This will start to develop a bit uh, thicker and a little more furrowed as it ages and it's easy to confuse some of the white oak and the bur oak and the swamp white oak by bark characteristics. So on a white oak, Quercus alba, if you go up and you're looking, you still see this sort of platy bark. Once you get to a small branch, like this one here, you'll notice that the bark is smooth all the way through, all the way out. On swamp white oak, you would start to see peeling bark at about a half inch or inch thick twigs. On bur oak, you might see corky ridges. You can see that oaks are alternately arranged for their leaves, so a leaf and then a little way up on the other side another leaf. If you look closely at the bud, you'll see that they're imbricate and a little bit rounded, and the terminal buds tend to be clustered, a group of them, at the very end or near the very end of a twig. White oak leaves can be highly variable. And really any of the oaks can have highly variable leaves. Here are three different leaves, all from the same branch. And you can see just differences in size and a little bit shape. On white oak, you tend to have shallow sinuses. That's this part that dips in. And then rounded lobes. And typically an equal or symmetric number of lobes and rounding as you go on either side of the leaf. Acorns of oaks don't happen every year. You tend to have mast years where there will be a lot of acorns um, in one year and then very few to maybe no acorns for the next couple of years. White oak acorns tend to have a smaller cap, meaning it doesn't cover the entire seed itself, and the top of the cap has these little warty protrusions on it, which differ from oaks that are in the red oak group. Open-grown white oaks can be a medium to large tree with a nice rounded crown, not as broad spreading as the bur oak, uh, but a little broader spreading than the swamp white oak.